I went by the lot again today. Really, Lucy? You have to stop doing this to yourself. I know, but I thought that maybe he'd be there this time. He's never there. I don't really know that, but something inside me really wanted to see him. Well, you are turning 16. I mean, is that a big deal? To have your dad at your sweet 16? Yeah, because it feels like a big deal. Of course it's a big deal. Your sweet 16 is like your wedding. I just feel horrible. Like, I don't even want to turn 16 without him. You know who wants to lock them? Who? Merrick. Like, English class Merrick? Did you talk to him? Uh, yeah, we talked for a few minutes. What did you talk about? Not much. He's really tall now. You haven't seen him lately? No. I mean, he goes to Pine Lake now. And even before when he went to Huff, we never talked, so, you know. Do you remember his sister, Jen? She's around our age. Oh, did she go to camp with us last summer? Yeah. She killed herself a few months ago. What? I know, it's crazy. Oh my god. Makes you prioritize a bit, huh? You guys getting some vitamin D? Yeah, I mean, I can't look like a ghost for my 16th birthday. Well, Mom just now got home, so I'm gonna run out and grab some pizza. Is cheese and pepperoni okay? Uh, yeah, that's perfect. While you're out, can you get like a 12 ounce Coke, please? Mom said no soda on weekdays. So? Don't tell her. Why don't you just go out and get it yourself? Um, because I don't have a license. It's my birthday, and it's not like I'm asking you to go out and buy me drugs. All right, I'll just add it to the ever-growing list of things we're keeping from mom. Great, thank you. Is Alex still wanting to go to UCLA? Yeah. Mom says that California's too far though. I guess she wants some close in case something happens. Distance has never been a problem for my family. They just don't have the money to send me out of state. Which is weird though, they act like they have all the money in the world. I get it. I mean, we don't have the money to send Alex to UCLA either. He'd have to take out a massive amount of student loans. And at that point, probably still have to work through college. So what's he gonna do? Concede? I don't know. Probably gonna end up going to a community college. Start his boring life on the sunny east coast. Working on his end of the cold sec family. Charming. Sometimes that's the only choice. Tell me about it. And ever since dad left, mom's been seeing any step in any direction as a retreat. I mean, we can't do anything independent without making her feel unappreciated. Is she doing better? To find better. I mean, she drives me crazy sometimes. Well, she's doing a good job. I know how tense things were for a bit there, but things tend to get better. Yeah. They do. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Lucy, happy birthday to you.
Hey, I'm heading out. Oh, you're leaving? I thought I told you already. No. I am going to NYU on a college tour. Oh my, you applied? And UCLA. Alex, my mom finds out she's gonna freak, and then when she's done freaking out, she's gonna kill you. That's why mom's not gonna find out. Alex, she's going to find out. Lucy, we have to get out of this house at some point. Mom can't keep us in this hellhole forever. You do realize that this is gonna kill her, right? I've already applied, so if she dies... Well, if you get in, you're gonna tell her. I'm not sure if I've gotten in, much less if I'm going this Alex? semester. Alex? If I get in, I'll tell her. Okay. Can I go? Amanda and John are in the car. You're going with Amanda? Yeah. We're gonna have fun, but, but not, not too, too much, much fun. fun. Just don't burn the house down while I'm gone, okay? Okay. Love you. Have fun. seen Casablanca. I just haven't. How can you even say that? I just I don't like old movies. I mean, they're black and white and they're irrelevant and everybody lives the same happy little life and they all sing and dance and it's aggravating. How's it aggravating? It just is. How? Well, it's probably because the real life isn't like that. If you sing in the rain, you get sick. Okay, okay. Nothing's perfect, but still there's something magical about it. Sorry, I'm a bit of an old soul. Oh, come on, really? What? I mean, that means nothing nowadays. Teenagers is like saying, I breathe oxygen. Oh, really? Yeah. And I know what you're gonna say next. You're gonna say, oh my gosh, they just didn't make music like they used to. Back in the 80s, you remember when everybody was having unprotected sex and they all got AIDS? Well, what a time. I was born in the wrong generation. I mean, okay. it's stupid. Okay. No, it's stupid. You have to. I swear I was not trying to say this to be cool or anything. I'm serious. I mean it. Oh, really? All right. Well, then explain yourself. It was simpler back then. People trusted other people. But it's not like in 2019 where if you're funny, you have to post something on social media and get a reaction out of it. It's total BS. But I mean, you live in this generation, you have to admit that it's better now, right? That's not what I'm trying to say. Don't you feel like you're missing something? I mean, I can't put my finger on it. It's like we are missing a part of ourselves, floating around in a world that doesn't even exist. I'm sorry, I guess I'm a little weird. I mean, I feel like that sometimes. Because we never shared more connection, but we've never had less interface, and it's... Dude, oh my gosh, you have no idea. I mean, I live with my grandparents. It's a hundred times worse. You live with your grandparents? Yeah. My mom's been in and out of rehab for the past 15 years, so me and my siblings lived with them. It just made things easier. I'm really sorry about Jen, by the way. That must have been really difficult for you. It's okay. I mean, I was close with my sister. Knowing what she was going through and not being able to help, I feel responsible. But you can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, but do you know how hard it is to tell yourself that? I mean, so many people have told me to man up, be the one that didn't get the wind knocked out of them, to keep a straight face, acting like nothing was wrong. I mean, you can't bottle that stuff up. It's not healthy. My mom hasn't been the same ever since my dad left. I mean, he was there one day and then he was gone the next. And she never really recovered from that. One day she took her ring off to go do the dishes and she never put it back on. And it's petrifying watching somebody that you really love turn into a shell of a person. She still hasn't recovered. I don't know if she ever will. Yeah. You're all so broken. I mean, imagine they knew that, that was a weakness. Mommy, this isn't a good time. Hey, have you have you heard from Alex today? He's not picking up. Do you know if he went to school this morning? Um, no, I haven't seen him today. What? What? I can't I can't hear you. Are you still at the skate park? I just it's really loud there. Yeah, yeah I'm still at the skate park. Okay, listen, if you if you see Alex, please tell him to call me and um 
Okay. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure that he just left his phone somewhere or it died. I'll be okay at home tonight. Yes, I know the lasagna that you're talking about. I'll be careful. Yes, I will be okay home alone. All right. Okay. Love you too. ago and it sent your family into a tailspin. It's no secret. And I'm really sorry about your dad. It's really not your fault that he was a prick. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so what? So you should probably just shut your mouth. All right. You and Merrick seem to be getting along. I was kind of surprised though, you know, like, Merrick's a pretty straight-laced guy and I don't know if he could handle you. Well, Merrick can speak for himself. I know he can, but he won't. Because that's just not the kind of person he is. And I'm not saying this to be mean, but I think he's too good for you. <laughs> oh. oh, sweetie. You were gonna find that out sooner or later. Let's just say we're keeping you from heartbreak. It's just so hard being you. Oh, and um, you should probably get a haircut. You have a lot of split ends.
Lucy? 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 Lucy, honey, open the door. <laughs> Lucy, honey, open the door. Please open the door. Lucy. Alex, Alex, where are you? Mom, I'm fine. My phone just died and I don't have one. Alex, God help me. If you don't tell me where you are right now, I'm going to kill you. Mom. Alex, where are you? I'm in New York. Mom, I just thought... You drove all the way to New York? For... What? I'm touring NYU. Alex, get back here right now. I did not approve this. You are not allowed at NYU, not now, not ever. I got into UCLA. I... You applied? I didn't think I was gonna get in. Yeah, like the excuse. I just wanted to... How am I supposed to afford this? Mom, I don't need you to afford it. I can get the money. I just want you to support it. Yeah, it's like... 30000 a semester or something, right? How are you going to get this money? What, are you going to rob a bank? I'll get the money. Yeah, you will get the money. And it's not going to go to some West Coast uppity college fund. It's going to come right here to your family who needs it to survive. Can't you just be proud of me? I've worked for 12 years of my life for this. Exams, ACTs, and I got in. Alex, you can't leave. We need to stick together. All you do is sit in your room or work and feel sorry for yourself while your children are just trying to better themselves. Alex, that's not fair. No, do you know what's not fair? Having a mother who can't drop her delusions long enough to realize that dad didn't leave because he cared. And your father meant the world to me. Yeah, that's the problem. Have you even thought for one second? Oh, my children are suffering. Maybe dad meant something to them too, but no, all you can think about is how you lost the love of your life and how nothing else matters but my grief and all this other crap you can't get past. And you know what? I don't care what you think. I'm Alex. going to UCLA. Alex? 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 We're going home. Eat your food, Lucy. I'm not hungry. Of course you're not. What's wrong with you lately, hmm? What's with this short hair thing? Is this some sort of mini rebellion or are you just trying to stick it to your mother? I like it short. Oh, well, I'm glad you do. Because that's all that matters, right? That you like it? Mom, let's not. No, Lucy, I'm being serious. I'm tired of this selfish attitude you have around the house. Whenever everything isn't pointed directly at you, you go throw a tantrum or fake some sort of mental breakdown or something. No, what well, did it ever occur to you that maybe I'm worth your attention because I'm your daughter? 
And to be honest, this is the longest, most relevant conversation that we've had since Dad left. You think your story's unique? Thousands of children grow up alone. Yeah, I know that. Now they're all child murderers or drug addicts. Oh, that is not true. Oh, really? Grow up, Lucy. You're just an entitled little teenager who thinks the world's gonna hand them everything they want on a silver platter. Well, guess what? That's just not gonna happen. I'm just saying that maybe you should pay a little bit more attention to your children, to me and Alex, than your own self-pity. Oh, and you're a great example of that, huh? Mom, don't do this. What? I'm serious. You have no life. You have no friends. How am I supposed to do anything else? I'm just trying to make it through another day without killing myself. You're just a little girl who can't get over losing her daddy. How am I the one that's living in the past? Okay, you were the one who had your perfect little life surrounded around your perfect little family and your perfect little husband, and now that dad's gone, you're nothing. <laughs> So you too? You gonna pack up your bags and head to LA and what? leave me alone? No, Mom, no, relax. Do not tell me to relax. My children are trying to leave me. Well, did it ever occur to you that maybe we want more than this broken, psychopathic household? We are trying the best we can. How? How are we trying? Do you even know what I do for you on a daily basis? I am trying to hold everything together while paying the bills and putting food on the table and clothes on your back, and now I have this college to pay for, all while I'm working 16 or more hours a day. That's all you're doing. That's it. What do you want me to do, huh? What do you want me to do? I want you to be there for us! I want you to acknowledge that you are not the only person that dad left behind, okay? Me and Alex are still here and we are bleeding every day. Allow yourself to grieve. Allow us to grieve because that's the only way that we're going to let ourselves heal from this. Our family is broken and there's nothing we're salvaging at this point. Life before dad left wasn't just a bad dream, okay? I am not the one who's letting the past rule me. That's you. Don't you dare put that on me and Alex. I'm getting out of this house. I know, I know. I should quit. They put tar in your lungs, you know. I know. I'm a, I'm a doctor, doctor, remember? <laughs> <laughs> well, doctor, if we're being honest, um, I may or may not have smoked weed once. So did I. <laughs> It was so bad. <laughs> it was so terrible. I, I don't see the appeal on it, honestly, but... <laughs> oh, who gave you weed? Eason. Oh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> he also asked me to... do stuff with him. And I said no, of course, but it happened. Um, are you uncomfortable? No. I guess I just don't uh, really know much about you, do I? Yeah, um, you don't really know anything about me, now that I think about it. Hmm. 
Well, let's be honest. I'll go first. I've been taking college classes. I want to get my degree so I can earn more money. That's why you get home so late. I wanted to tell you. Since we're kind of confessing here, um, the reason I cut my hair is because it's because I kind of hate myself. And I know that sounds harsh, but I hate the way that I walk and the way that I talk. Everybody seems to just regard me as some broken good that he's looking after. Maybe they're right. Maybe you were right. I just wasn't so selfish. It's so stupid that maybe I could be good enough for somebody. And maybe, maybe dad wouldn't have left. No, no, Lucy. You are not stupid, and you are not selfish. That is not the reason your father left. Having kids is really difficult. Your dad and I talked about it, but I don't, I don't think he really understood what parenting meant. He was so scared. He'd say it all the time, and I could see it. I could see that fear in his eyes every time he looked at you. And that fear led him to do the one thing he actually feared the most, which was letting you down. Letting me down, letting Alex down. I just wanted everything to be perfect for you. I came from a broken home. I know what that's like. I didn't want that for you. And I found myself just making the same mistakes my parents did. I just didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry, Lucy. You never needed that. We, we never needed dad. I mean, we had everything we needed between the three of us. If I'd have known how strong you and your brother were, you two are my entire world. And I don't know what I'd do without you. I love you, Lucy. You know that, right? No matter what you do, no matter what your paycheck looks like, no matter what love looks like to you, who you love, who you marry, I will always be there for you. You are beautiful and strong and powerful. <laughs> Don't let anyone take your dreams away from you. And you're a special girl, because you're my girl. So I will always be in your corner. If you ever need me to beat anybody up, boyfriend, <laughs> anything, I'm right there. Dad never deserved you. <sighs> you should probably talk to Alex. Yeah, I haven't been a very good mom, have I? Apparently, he's really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a little too smart. <laughs> hmm. So what do you think about LA? I love LA. Out there in the run, 
you can go blind Staring at the sun You okay? I'm gonna miss this place. I mean, I don't even know if it's the house itself that I'm gonna miss, but... Something about it. The, the way that the birds land on the trees. The butterflies in the yard. The sky and the air. And the sunshine. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's the house at all that I'm gonna miss. It's, it's time to go. Mom took the first load to Grandpa's already. The house is empty. <laughs> California, here we come, right? I guess there's only one thing to do now. i